what is up people how's it going this is Bharat and welcome back to yet another video we are going to be continuing on the kiwi advanced tutorial and i've been talking about kiwi and different things that can be done with the kiwi libraries itself but for this video i'm going to be going outside the kiwi library and using a kiwi dependent library called as kiwi garden so with kiwi garden we're going to be seeing how to integrate your map uh, or what you see in the map into our kiwi application and run it in our desktop that's what is coming up let's get this video started all right so i'm going to be starting with the pie charm which already loaded right here and as you can see you i always say that you need two things installed one is your python and your kiwi installed but for this video we already also need to install the kiwi garden library so it is actually part of pip so all you need to do is just do pip install kiwi garden and we are good to go basically it automatically takes care of installing it. as you can see it says that requirements already satisfied for me uh, you will take it probably take you know 15 to 20 seconds to install everything into your virtual environment and we are good to go so i'm using pycharm here i'll try to uh, talk through as i go so first thing i'm going to be doing is to obviously create a python file and i'll call it as the map main python file basically so we gotta need few things to be uh, as part of our python all all the time so one is going to be the kiwi app itself so you'll just do kiwi.app and we'll in, uh, import the app and from kiwi.uix.layout i'm going to be using the box layout so just use the box layout all right so once you've installed that it's got time to move on i'm going to be doing this kiwi uh, underscore garden make sure to import it from a kiwi underscore garden dot map view uh, you're going to use the import map view all right so one thing's here one thing here once you've installed a kiwi garden it will automatically take care of installing all the base files that are required to install your uh, kiwi garden use your kiwi garden but once you're done with that you also need to install your map view which is coming as part of this install here so you just need to do map view and again it'll automatically say that it's already satisfied for me and it automatically install the kiwi garden that map view into our local uh, virtual environment so there are four import four important installs that you need to do make sure you're keeping on that in track so once you've done this install you'll be able to import this as well into your application and we'll just go on from here i'll try to uh, maybe all right so i've zoomed in the code and we're going to be using the map uh, view import followed by we also need to import the map source so the map source import is also a very important import i'll tell you why we're going to use it all right time to go ahead and start writing our code i'm just going to say class uh, kiwi app or uh, since i've called it as map main i'll just call it as map main app and you will be using the usual stuff doing the app and uh, we're just going to be overriding the build method here and what are the things that you're going to need for the build method first things first we'll create our box layout so just do the box layout is equal to box layout off and i'm not just really worried about what is going to be coming because inside the box, lay box layout i'm going to be placing my map view now the map view is going to be just a very simple map there is not going to be much things that you're going to need it but what i'm trying to do as part of this video is to show you guys how you can drop a marker also into this map view and uh, whatever location like the latitude and longitude that you give it will automatically drop that marker on that location so first things first you also need to create a very simple object for the map view so just do it all of this is just very basic things and inside the map view we need to initialize it with the latitude and longitude on where exactly it should load on the first load so just say latitude is equal to probably i'll just give it like 50.3 or something like that and uh, sorry longitude is going to be now uh, i don't know i don't want it to show in some some inside the c uh, let me give it as 3.057 I'll give it as 3.05 because uh, that pretty much is going to be somewhere around uh, at the top or the northern part of the world. So let's see where it shows and I'll just go ahead with this. And third important thing that you also need is the zoom, which is going to be uh, is what is very, very important. So it's need, it needs to go inside that at least for uh, some some distance inside the map. Or else what will happen is it will show just a very simple blip of a map uh, zoomed out completely. So we'll just do a zoom of 13 so that it's on the first load, it loads like this. Once you have created uh, your map view, time to go ahead and set the source for the map view. The source is very, very important. I'll tell you why the source is very important. There are various sources that you can take from the map view. I'll also sh show you guys how to do that. And now you've done the map view dot map source is equal to OSM. That is what is base or default map source that is being used. And we'll just add the box layout, uh, the, add the map view to the box layout and return the box layout go here and run the application all you need to do is map main dot run off 
and when you run this application uh, we will see for ourselves that the map is loaded and this is how the map is loaded it is showing somewhere i'm not really sure where that is i don't know where the latitude and longitude that i want it to show right so what i'm going to do is now uh, make use of the map source and also i'm going to be adding another important import uh, class which is going to be the uh, map marker now map marker is responsible for showing a marker on the place or the latitude and longitude that we want it to show for all right so we've created the map marker now time to go ahead and start working on the map marker here uh, so map marker is going to be just another um, uh, object so we'll just do a map marker is equal to map marker of map marker of and map marker is going to now have the latitude as this point and map marker dot longitude is going to be 3.05 because exactly you want it to be this you know match this now time to show by default the map marker will have its own marker it will show that marker but i'm going to be showing you guys how to use our very own marker let's say you have created your own png file and that marker you want to show on the kiwi application right all you need to do is just load it as part of the map marker uh, dot source if you say map marker dot source you will be able to load this file now i don't have any file now so i'm just going to quickly go ahead and download a file and use that all right, so I went ahead and quickly downloaded this map marker as my PNG file. I'm just going to be uh, now loading that right here. I just say map marker dot PNG. So I just need to give the location of that here, the location being inside my project itself. And it's directly saying map marker dot PNG. All right, so now we have loaded the map marker. We have given it the location and latitude, latitude and longitude, also the source. Now I just need to do is just add it to the map view. Now map view already has its own add widget. And you can just say map marker inside that all right so i you asked i'm you guys might be thinking what i'm actually doing with this map source here right so i'm going to be doing is just do a simple print to show what are the map sources that this map you can take i just do map uh, source dot providers dot key so basically this will show us what are the different map sources that are available and you can load it using that and inside this map source i've just given it a string but we can actually use whatever is available as part of this and i'll show you how that works as well all right now we've done this let's run this application stop and run and we'll see for ourselves how the application is now going to look like so basically this is how the application is looking like it's literally too big i can understand that it's a very very big png file so we can actually move the application move the map and we can see that it is actually pointing as to where exactly it has to be now it says that as a client not found error let's not worry about that but as you can see here these are the different map sources that are available as part of the kiwi gardens map view so what do you need let's say i want to uh, find the cycle map or the cycle routes uh, map i'll just do is replace this cycle map and i'll just stop and run and you can see for ourselves how the application is going to look like with the cycle map or the cycle route available Now the the marker is too big for us to actually do anything uh, we can actually change it if you want to the ideal size is going to be 32 by 32 uh, that pixels that will have a very small marker ideally looking good but this is also fine right this will, this will be way, uh, much better if you are going to use it i am not even sure which country this is let's go back and find i think probably yeah like i said it's uh, probably inside um I don't know France I guess I guess this is France right because Paris is here so this must be France and we have we are loading a, mar a cycle view cycle map of the entire world and uh, as you can see again this is printing the entire uh, the map sources that are available and we can load it now if you go here it's it does say that API key is required you know why that is being said because it is loaded from the Google Maps again this Kiwi uh, garden is loading it from the Google map and uh, if we want to do few other maps like if you want to find out uh, thunder forest uh, few other maps that are not available as part of the map providers given here you will need the api key and load it using that but do not worry this part or whatever map i showed right now do not require any kind of map key or anything of that sort and you just have to go ahead and use the kiwi garden and use this map view that comes as part of the kiwi garden and we are good to go pretty much that's what i wanted to show you guys as part of this video uh, let's wrap this up all right so what exactly did you see we actually saw how to use the kiwi gardens map view class and using that map view class we uh, uh, created a simple map view onto our kiwi application post that we also loaded a map marker and put it inside the map view and we are now able to put or drop a marker into places that we want onto a map itself so that's pretty much what i wanted to share with you guys as part of this video hope you hope uh, it was informative and uh, you guys liked it as well drop a like if you did find it useful and subscribe to the channel for more 
content on Kiwi and other app development as well as programming languages. So I'm going to be seeing you guys in the next video. I got a few other things to talk about on Kiwi as well. I'll see you there. Until then, Sparat, peace out. Have a super awesome day.